Hi folks, this is Robert Wallace, your travel expert and world travel guide. And today we're going to do a preliminary search on Hover. So let's get right to it. Uh, we are still looking for the perfect hotel stay for ourselves in Rome, Italy during Easter weekend. Uh, we'll be flying in on April, uh, Saturday, uh, the 8th, and we'll be checking out on the 10th. Okay, and we plan to see the Pope uh, and then go on to visit my dad in Tuscany. So here are our search criteria, and I've never used Topper before, so this is going to be a little interesting. We won't download the app right away. We're not going to log in with Gmail. Uh, instead, we're going to take a look at possibly their map. I'm not sure what's going on. It doesn't like they look like things are downloading here. Here we go. I like to use the app mainly because it. I have a specific area that I want to stay in when we stay in Rome to satisfy Mrs. Wallace's uh, needs. So I'm not sure how to make this map. There we go. Move around. Um, so we are staying near the Vatican City, uh, mainly because the price is pretty good, pretty centrally located. And we don't want to have to go through throngs and throngs of people to get to uh, see the Pope on Easter Sunday. Um, so that way we can just walk right out of our place and walk right over to St. Peter's uh, Square, right near, right in front of the Basilica, and get to see the Pope uh, doing his thing on Easter Sunday. So we're zooming in on this location here, and I'm not sure, and this stuff doesn't seem to be um kind of getting better uh so hmm, not sure I'm not sure if there's because there's no places on offer right there and there's a place way over here but that's not way what we want at all hmm and now i'm a little confused all right so hopper does not seem to be doing the job for me mm -hmm. just going to take one more peak. I mean, some of these are quite good, right? This hotel right here looks pretty good. Uh, $500 for two nights. I, I think I've seen this in a different um, search engine as well. Okay. Let's go to a different one. I've stayed in this hotel Amadeus before, I'm quite sure. Let's just take a look at it and see if it's the same one. I'm quite sure I've stayed here before. All right. Very good. Well, that's Hopper for us. Let's uh, let's take a let's decide not to use Hopper and let's go to Booking instead, right? So Booking.com is the one I typically use when I am traveling to Italy. It just seems to work best. Uh, so I won't log in just yet. Um, instead, let's just go to Rome. And Rome, Lazio, Rome City Center, any of that stuff, Rome, Rome Termini, uh, this is all pretty centrally located. I'll just hit Rome. Uh, and again, we are going to be going there for uh, Easter. So we're arriving on Saturday, April 8th, and we are checking out on Monday, April 10th. And here's our search. And I, again, I like to go to the map right away and... Uh, that way we can kind of include and eliminate different places uh, that are on the map. Now, I highlighted a couple of these places that I saw that uh, looked kind of reasonable to me. Um, so just to give you an idea of what the area looks like, too, you can always just do a Google search for like, um, let's just take a look at this for a minute, because this is kind of what we um we're kind of looking for is this borgo thing right here right so uh let me go in just a little bit further and maybe i can get yeah museo de leonardo da vinci experience well i want the name of that road right there because that's basically this road right here guys is the road that most most likely we're going to wind up hanging out on um and it's a mall right here really and last time when we were there for uh, Palm Sunday last year, 
we were right around in this area right here. And that's pretty much what I'm looking to do next time around too. This area is fenced off and um, I'm not quite sure how to get on the other side of the fence, but I didn't feel like we needed to. The Pope came out, came driving by us, right past us here, drove past us again. It was wonderful. I, I felt like the, we got the entire experience from standing right over here. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking to do this time around, right? So, but if you want to see what this looks like, uh, let's go to, um, this is a very nice hotel there, but let's go to, let me see what this is, uh, unavailable. Ooh, okay. So we're getting some unavailability here. I know I looked at this one. So now we're kind of looking at Borgo St. Angelo, I think that is, Borgo St. Angelo. Let's take a look at what that would look like uh, as far as Borgo St. Angelo, Rome. And let's just take a look. Maybe we'll see some images here. Right. Okay. So this is what we're, we're near stuff like this, right? So this is the, um, that is, I think Hadrian's like fortress there. Pretty interesting. This right here, uh, this Passetto di Borgo is, uh, I think Borgo means like town, by the way. Um, and this is uh, the, it's actually a via, uh, an aqueduct. Um, but it's also like a wall that protects the uh, Vatican uh, City. So this is looking at St. Peter's Cathedral here. That's uh, the Tiber River right here. And this is that fortress made by Hadrian, Emperor Hadrian. Uh, and that's St. Peter's again. And St. Peter's Square is up right in front of it right there. Right. So. All right. Nice pictures, a beautiful, beautiful bridge right there. Um, and it's one of two bridges basically to get you from the Vatican City right into, uh, you know, Rome, like the, you know, tourist area of Rome, really. Okay. So let's go back over to booking again. And we say that place that is not available for, uh, for the dates that we wanted. Um, but let's see what is available i think these red means not available so the white means available so this is residencia residenza pauline uh now this is for this is for two nights right so 607 and they have a couple different other things as well um a little on the expensive side this is getting a little cheaper for us let's look right over here because i thought this one was kind of nice oh that one's expensive too nice terrace though um Maybe this was the one. No, although I did check that out. Okay, another little apartment hotel. A lot of these, by the way, guys, are like privately owned um, apartments of some sort or another. Uh, some of them actually have some type of little front desk area and some of them don't at all. And you just have to communicate with the owner. So we're getting a little bit further away from that place that I, uh, I think that place that I was kind of looking at, it may be gone at this point. So I'm like, I'm kind of thinking maybe it's time for me to get on my app and uh, make a move. Okay. So I did check this place out um, quite close to where we want to be. Quite an easy walk. Vatican Rome. This is definitely one of what we were looking at and we we're looking at this one as well. Let's take a look at this one. It's quite a bit cheaper, uh, just to give us an idea. And we'll take a look at the spot, the important notes, because that's always very important to uh, take take into account. Okay, so uh, let's just see what this one has to say. Okay, so uh, stay in the heart of Rome, right? So you're eligible for a genius discount. Thank you very much. Uh, just a five minute walk from St. Peter's Basilica, Capricci Romani is in Rome Center. Okay, uh, not too far away from the Octaviano uh, metro station, right? I I know what that means. That's that's a that's probably around like a ten minute walk right there. I know where the uh, Octavio Octaviano metro station is located, um, and we can even show it to you on the map if you like. Uh, but I'll show it to you in a little bit. Okay, accommodations at Capricci Romani features uh, you know smart TV, Netflix, that type of stuff. Don't really care about that. Um, 
Also features a little library and staff can provide free guides and maps. Okay, appreciate a free map. The property is just uh, over 1,500 feet from the Castle St. Angelo, which I believe is that's the Hadrian's Fortress that I uh, was talking about. The Spanish Steps and the Trevi Fountain are three metro stops away. Well, that's very, very true. Okay, or we can just walk it. A shuttle service from both airports, Champion, Champino and Fiumicino airports is available on request and for an additional cost. Could be cheaper than a trip than a taxi. I'm not quite sure. Uh, Mrs. Wallace and I did the taxi last year, and I want to say it was around 30 euros uh, for the taxi from the same area, right? So we we took the taxi from Fiumicino uh, Airport, which is their big international Rome airport, uh, right to this area, right to that Borgo. Uh, I think it's called like Borgo Pio area. Okay. Uh, this is our guest's favorite part of Rome, according to independent reviews. Couples in particular like this uh, location. They're rated 9.6. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the stuff that they have here. Uh, we're not going to get a room with a view, I don't believe. Let's take a look. Nope. But no prepayment need, needed. Pay at the property. Uh, and it's $471 for two nights. It does include 10% VAT. It doesn't include this $3.50 city tax per person per night. Okay. So they're going to, they do see who, how many people are in your room and then they charge three fifty dollars uh, per person uh, per night. Okay. So that comes out to around $7 per night uh, times two nights, you know, so, you know, it's like 30 bucks. Okay. Um, and there should be some like important notes here too. So let's just kind of, check this out uh i'm not used to looking at it on a computer i'm used to looking on my app right and here's some reviews i think these may may have been the latest reviews right nice clean i love it and the corridor was so sweet okay everything the host was very friendly and helpful and let us drop our luggage off before check-in that's that's convenient the room was exceptionally clean and adorable uh the from the window the view from the window was so nice we also had our had our best night's sleep here the beds were very probably comfortable and then karen <laughs> says from the united states the location was perfect a comfortable walk to most tourist attractions the building was full of character the staff exceptionally welcoming and helpful boy this sounds like a pretty good place to 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 go uh i'm still looking at if i can check in later in the evening because we're not going to get there until around nine PM. Okay, we know the neighborhood quite well. It's very friendly uh, and uh, it's very quaint in this area. Very little traffic in this area too, in, in the back roads. It's, uh, it's in plenty of eateries around there. Um, and we've tried some of the eateries and they were, they were quite delicious. Still looking for the important notes. Okay, here's the fine print. So a surcharge of 30 euros will be applied for arrivals after 6 p.m. or ra rather from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, after 10 p.m. there's going to be a late check-in cost of 40 euros. Okay, all requests for late arrival are subject to, to confirmation by the property itself. Okay, so we are planning to arrive here at... I want to say 9 p.m. I'm going to take a look at my uh, phone real quick. Oh. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to open my SAS app. Uh, by the way, I, I'm really, I'm really kind of satisfied with my SAS app here. That's uh, that tells me about our upcoming trip to. Uh, to Rome, right? That's from Newark. That's EWR to FCO. Um, so I, I really appreciate it. And then if I click on it, it starts to give me my itinerary, which is really, really nice. And it tells you up at the top up here, uh, it, it actually shows you the different legs for your for your itinerary. So it's quite nice to just pop in and see what, what you get, right? So that first itinerary right here, um, I believe is the the full, yeah, the, all right, so that tells us the whole thing. So we're arriving into Rome uh, at 1950, which is, uh, that's seven, 
50. That is basically 8 p.m. in the evening, right? And so uh, I believe that at 8, we could probably get from the airport to, uh, you know, to um, to the hotel uh, by, you know, 10 p.m. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure of that, right? So we could we could get there and, and we would have to pay those 30 euros uh, as an extra charge. But this hotel really seems to be a really good one to, to, to do. Uh, the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to TripAdvisor and just see what they have to say about it, right? So TripAdvisor definitely is, I, in my opinion, uh, the gold standard for, uh, you know, basically getting the lowdown on any uh, one place. So if I click on TripAdvisor and then we start to take a look at this hotel room, hotel there, which is called Capricci Romani. So again, they want you to sign in with your Google. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so Capricci Romani. Don't ask me what Capricci means. I'll check later on. Uh, I think Mrs. Waltz and I will start taking Italian lessons uh, quite soon in the future, really. Um, not quite yet, though, because we're really busy. Um, oh, and I'm going to have to put this on pause for a minute here. Okay, so now that I unpause it, let's take a look at um, the reviews, right? That's what we really want to see. There's only 59 reviews, uh, 44 excellent, and 15 very good. So nothing bad about this hotel. Let's see. Last review was from September 2022, uh, and it says, just gotten back from the most amazing stay. Rooms were spotless, server out, service outstanding, beds are super comfy, really need to know where the pillows are from. Hmm. Aircon, air conditioning works a, a treat, especially as outside temperature was 33 degrees plus. That, of course, is in Celsius, guys. Pretty hot. Uh, would definitely highly recommend and would stay again. Complimentary pastries and coffee in the morning was uh, was spot on. Thank you for an amazing stay. Really helpful if in how to navigate the city. Literally 10 minutes walk from Vatican City. The number 40 bus will take will get you there from Roma, Termini. Oh, okay. So you can take the bus from Roma, Termini. Uh, we stayed as a, as a family of four, two adults and two older teenagers uh, in a quadruple room. And excellent. So that's just sounding pretty good. Let's do one more review. This one had four out of five stays. This one said cute little stay. Stayed for over a weekend. Host were so lovely and sweet spoke excellent english too place was cleaned thoroughly and smelled great room was small but enough for two people location is excellent just a stone throw away from the piazza san pietro and castel san angelo angelo perfect for an evening walk yeah absolutely guys uh would definitely recommend for a weekend getaway mm, sounds perfect okay so we're we're getting great reviews uh so that to me is enough. I'm booking this thing and I'm going to book it right on my uh, uh, booking.com uh, app on my phone. Um, and I strongly recommend, I like using Priceline in, in the United States, but I do like using booking uh, when I'm in Europe. It seems to work better, at least in, in uh, Italian locations. It has not let me down yet. So that's it for me, for Robert Wallace, your travel expert and uh picking and choosing places to go uh, and stay rather uh, during Easter vacation uh, 2023 in Rome, Italy. Have a wonderful day. And as always, bon voyage.